school edition tonight. We are going back to, oh, sorry, pencils down. It's like, yeah, out there, we're just beginning. We're just beginning the day here at Good Evening Academy. Let's go with that. Um, it's back to school, do you get it? That's the theme, that's what we're talking about, education. It's fun, right, it's exciting. So we'll begin, uh, like we do every school day, with the Pledge of Allegiance. So uh, please rise and put your hands over your hearts for the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, oh, I'm sorry, yes, right. This, this isn't the uh, regular Pledge of Allegiance that everyone is used to. Uh, this is actually the Pledge of Allegiance to Chicago. Um, that that uh, my writers concocted. I haven't gone over this yet, but I'm excited to go through it here for the first time with you all. I hope it's good. Um, so how it goes, if you put your hand over your flag lapel pin, <laughs> repeat after me. It's call and response, like summer camp, but it's school, so summer's over. Okay, I pledge of allegiance, I pledge of allegiance to, the flag to the flag of Chicago that I see tattooed all over everyone. <laughs> And to the elected, to the elected, who we can't always stand, who we can't always stand, one city, one city, under Ram, under Ram, quite divisible, quite divisible, with liberty and justice sometimes. With liberty and justice sometimes. Great job! Give it up for your fans. That was really great. Nicely done. And now, uh, first period is the monologue. So I'm just gonna transition seamlessly into that, not make a big deal out of that transition and just kind of ease right into it. You'll barely notice, uh, really, uh, how I just pivot into the monologue. And the first monologue joke is the United States Federal Reserve. This ought to be funny. The United States Federal Reserve has recently, recently launched its own Facebook page. What a world. Yes. All right. Great. Uh, its own Facebook page in an attempt to connect with a wider and younger audience. Uh, a spokesperson for the Fed has confirmed that these are some of the lowest interest rates they've seen in years. Oh. Zero likes for you, Janet Yellen. That's actually at her birthday party. She's super happy. She's really thrilled. CNN. My favorite 24 hour news network. Uh, it's a, oh, contentious, contentious, that's okay. That's what democracy is all about. CNN reported that their coverage of the recent flooding in Louisiana didn't nearly reach the ratings that they had received during Hurricane Katrina. Interesting point to make. Uh, the report confirms what science has long suspected sequels are just never as good as the original. <laughs> I didn't order a hurricane. I am not the bad guy here. I don't know who's doing, you know, keeping track of ratings for natural disasters, Wolf Blitzer. But, uh, uh, Domino's, on a lighter note, Domino's has pioneered a drone that can fly pizza deliveries in New Zealand. Why not? Why not? Because, I mean, that's whenever you ask someone what, what was absolutely terrible about your Domino's experience, they always answer, it wasn't flown to my house by a robot. <laughs> Instead of, like, that's not pizza, I don't even know if it's food, you know? <laughs> what is that? Um, last week, a worried Nebraskan woman called the paramedics because her husband was acting strange. Uh, when the paramedics arrived, they observed that he was, quote, crawling around the floor and calling his family's cat a bitch. <laughs> uh, later, the EMTs discovered it was actually he had ingested some marijuana-laced brownies, which is apparently a thing. Uh, <laughs> that his adult children had made. And the EMTs assured the woman that his reaction was just a bad experience with the pot uh, and did confirm that cat is kind of a bitch, though. <laughs> <laughs> kind of mean, kind of judgy, kind of judgy, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, a type of fish has recently started appearing in Lake Michigan, brand new. This fish called the Paku fish. It's unique. Very unique in that it appears to possess a full mouth of human teeth. Now, did we find a picture? There's the top of the teeth. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But it kind of looks like a fish with like a mouthful of corn. Do we have anything more specific than that? That's teeth. That looks like teeth. That could be photoshopped though. Is there anything even more? Oh my God. Holy Jesus. But then again, then again, instead of this being a fish with a mouth full of human teeth, how do we know 
that humans don't have full mouths of fish teeth, said the incredibly high dad from the previous joke. <laughs> Critical thinking skills, guys, is what we're building here. It was reported that a Colorado field office of presidential nom uh, presidential nominee Donald Trump is being run by a 12-year-old boy. Weston Eimer is his name. Wow. A seventh grader. He'll be running the office until he has to return to school, nerd. Now <laughs> Having a boss that doesn't know science or math and, and thinks girls are icky might sound like a bad thing, but Weston says he doesn't judge Trump on his personal views. <laughs> on the green. Rick Perry. Remember this guy? Vaguely. Uh, well, he senses that you're beginning to forget him, so he's officially announced He'll be a contestant in the upcoming season of ABC's Dancing with the Stars. Yeah! This is true. This is happening. Uh, when asked which dances he was excited to learn, Perry answered, the waltz, the samba, and, uh, <laughs> oh, I can't remember the third. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> See, no one remembers him. We don't <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. Uh, it was revealed that the Illinois state budget is in such shambles that current state representative Jaime Andrade, actual picture, has become an Uber driver to make ends meet. This is true. State representative of Illinois can't make any money because they're not, it's on furlough, they're not paying any state employees, so he has to pick up Uber to feed his family. And uh, he stated he was originally considering driving for Lyft, but he was afraid of looking ridiculous. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm an elected official, okay? I'm not gonna drive by the pink mustache on my car. <laughs> Great Britain had an Olympic team. I missed that. But their, Great Britain's Olympic team, they ran into some problems during their return from the Rio Olympic Games when the team members couldn't find their individual luggage amidst a sea of identical red bags. <laughs> These people ran an empire for hundreds of years, but they gave everyone the same bag, uh, the same bag. The, the event was initially documented by this gentleman, who's uh, uh, Olympic windsurfer Nick Dempsey, uh, which of course begs the question, when did windsurfing become an Olympic sport? I have no idea. Uh, the U.S. team, actually, it is funny, the U.S. team had a very similar experience on their way back uh, from the Olympics. They had some mix-ups of their own, but what they kept mixing up was all the gold medals they won! Yeah! show for you tonight, guys. Great show. Very excited. We have an interview with president of the Illinois Principals Association, Troy LaRavier. I can't believe it either. As well as musical performances by Michael DeVille and... I can't believe it. I don't know how we did it. But first, we're gonna play a little game, Pat and Penny game here on Good Evening with Pat Will, which we call That Being Said, in which I read a fact, I then ask a multiple choice question.